Hey guys, it's Kraus. Welcome back everybody to Dawn of Man. Just sit back, relax and enjoy. If you guys do enjoy this, make sure you give this video a like and also do leave some nice feedback in the comment section. And ladies and gentlemen, in the previous episode of Dawn of Man, we advanced into the Bronze Age, which means we have unlocked beautiful roundhouses with nipple roofs. I love them. We also did obtain the, the stone walls over here. And my favorite part, the art of beer making. Look at this. It's kind of like Dr. Disrespect brewing beer back in the Bronze Age. Just amazing. But also, the kind game developers of Dawn of Man gave me five copies of the game to give out. So do check out the description on how to enter the giveaway. And I just want to say good luck, everybody. But today's episode is going to be mainly about reaching the Iron Age. Uh, we're like seven points away. And also, before we do that, we will need to balance out absolutely everything in the game. We do like close. People are complaining like they're going about the nude in the community and it's, it's no bueno. I wouldn't mind. Like this guy over here, for example. Does he look sad to you guys? No. He's like what? 70? But look at, look at, look at the like eight pack. It's just a beefcake. I wish I had that buddy. But uh, he's complaining that he's nude, okay? So we need to kind of fix that situation. And I guess the main thing uh, why we lack clothes is because we don't have enough flax plantations. And also, I believe those guys over here, the workshops, they use the, the flax to make uh, the new bows. Stop it. And the fishing rods. Stop it. Just temporarily. Do the same on this game, maybe. How many bows do we have? One or five. I guess we can queue, uh, queue up the old bows. No, you know what? One or five bows, that should last us for quite a bit of time. And what we could, could also maybe do is maybe boost the priority on the weavers and the Gucci factory over here and over here. Hopefully it's going to help us. One more thing is that we will have issues on our, like the fields I've made over here. Like, don't get me wrong, I love them to bits. I think this looks so beautiful. But it's pretty much just a waste at this stage because with this population we ain't gonna be able to harvest this whatsoever so i guess what we could do is this what was this over here this was a chickpeas let's demolish that for a moment you know what are you doing don't worry you might be like but kiraz is almost harvest season yeah i know but hey we're not gonna be able to harvest this anyhow i'd rather just harvest like a few fields but to a hundred percent than harvest like 25 fields to 10 percent which um Hopefully that makes sense. We will replace them as soon as we reach a bigger population. However, that might be very tricky because according to the game devs, the migration works like this. At a population of 100, the migration gets halved. After 150 population, it completely stops. So we are pretty much just relying on our own population to make babies. And uh, that might be tricky. And uh, for the moment, how much do we have? 28 adult females and only 8 pregnant. And we do have quite a bit of an early community. So you would say this is maybe like a little bit like Florida. So we do have a lot of like old people and um, they're going to die. And we ain't producing enough babies. So there might be a death wave in today's episode. Hopefully not. If that happens, sad days. But we'll see. So I guess let them just get to it. It's going to be harvest season very, very soon. Oh yeah, we need to do this as well. Um, the wall is going to be obviously tweaked. It's going to be stone walls all the way around. And I did see a crap ton of stone over here. By the way, the mud. Why do we even have that still? Since we upgraded all the houses in the previous episode, we obta obtained quite a bit of mud from a deconstruction, right? So let's just remove those guys. Not needed at this stage. We still have some huts and such, but uh, I mean, 189. That's going to last for repairs forever. It's <laughs> a lot of stone. <laughs> let's add one over here. Let's uh, assign five people. Let's add maybe even one more. Kind of like overlapping everything. Yeah. And five more people to that. Perfect. Perfect. Because, yeah, stone walls all the way around. I bet you it's going to be a crap ton of stone needed for that. So we will see. Harvest season is here now. Oh, yeah. That is something you guys mentioned. I want to try that out. Okay, you guys told me to add more protections over here, so let's do this. Let's delete one of those fields. You might be like, what, 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 why is the harvesting? Yeah, 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 yeah. Boom, no, boom, there we go, it's gone. Go somewhere else and harvest. Like, we're gonna see if they manage harvest this. I hardly doubt it, but uh, time will tell. Oh, no, 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 not in harvest season. <sighs> Douches. How many? Well, about 10, I guess. And obviously, we do still have those gingerbread towers over here, which are gonna crumble. You guys waiting? This is so awesome to see. 
look at those guys. Like, I mean, they're really prepared for this fight. We even have the, the, the swords out and ready. The copper swords, I believe it is, right? Yeah. <laughs> Just standing on the line, <laughs> waiting to be killed. Uh, back in the days, life was awesome. Okay, is everybody in? Steve, did you make it this time? Nope, Steve is still not uh, inside, but doesn't really matter. Okay, they are charging. Ladies and gentlemen, the towers will crumble. Very, very fast. What the crap is the durability on those guys? 400. Like, it goes down so fast. Okay. Tower's gone. Those guys are still waiting outside. Those guys are chipping away. Gate is gone. Okay. Use the balls. Amazing use of those. One of ours has been killed. Arrow to a knee. And we have defeated them. I believe two people died in our community, but uh, ten raiders at least, so stop the toot, open all gates, and uh, construct them again, I guess. <laughs> this sucks so bad. <laughs> like, I'm hoping, like, once we reach the Iron Age, that the gates in the Iron Age are gonna be much, 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 much more powerful than those are over here. But uh, people have been telling me, like, Kirals add more fortifications in the, in, the, in the fields, around the farms, and I guess we could do that somehow. What would happen if we just squeeze in, like... Let's say we do like a small uh, fort, maybe, of some type. So that's going to be a palisade. Uh, let's maybe add a gate facing... Where's the middle point? Is there a middle piece? Never be the middle piece. The worst piece to be. If you watch, if you watch Swimmers in the Bead, you know all about it. Yeah, let's maybe, let's maybe do a little fort uh, of some type. We're going to see if we can squeeze in a little bit of stuff. At least maybe a, a few houses. And what I'm hoping is that as soon as the raiders come... Well, one, this is going to be like the first line of protection, right? But also that people will take shelter within these fort walls. So they don't have to run all the way to, to town over there. But um, I ain't sure how the game operates. So it's going to be a little bit interesting to check out. Like I saw, perfect. I mean, it's going to be a decent size, right? And then we're just going to add tower, 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 tower. And... Um, did I do this tower over here? No, I did not. I'm thinking, like, what would we need inside of the gates? Hmm. We will need some housing. So let's just add, uh, not storage corrals. Let's do maybe even roundhouses. Let's say this would be for the posh and famous people of the farm area. Let's do... Bear with me, okay? Sinking in progress. We gotta make it look nice. Well, not really nice, but we need to squeeze in as much as we can on this little space we've got going over here. Maybe one and two. But no, let's do this. And then um, obviously we're going to need uh, require a, a granary. A granary. A building filled with grannies. Like over here. Uh, on the other side. Game, don't save. Maybe a little warehouse. The new type. Um, okay, so we get the warehouse. We get the granary. We got the two free houses. Let's also add ourselves maybe... Oh, well, yeah. Boom, well over here. Let's get them a campfire, just on the entrance. Terrible location, terrible location, but it is what it is. And what else do we need? A totem, a scalpel, a scalpel would not be bad, or maybe even a totem. I don't think we have enough of them on the side of the river, so let's just do one here. And can I squeeze in one of those drying racks? <laughs> no, not sure why, but let's, let's give it a go. Yeah, I could maybe. I'm not sure they're going to be able to pass to the, to the tower here. Let's just add that, that outside the gates. Like, if this is gonna look nice, we can maybe even add a few extra of them uh, all over the place. We'll see. But yeah, workload is too high. Let me just see. I think this is button 7 on your keyboard. Shows you workload. It's 149%. Yeah, we don't have enough population. And people are gonna be dying left and right. This is gonna be such a sad episode. Because you're gonna be all those, like, old-timers are gonna be like, Bye. And <coughs> dead. Yeah, it's gonna be sad. But it is what it is. Let them get to it. Also, what I want to do, I want to do this. Let's see here. F2. Nope, that is the stats. F4. Let's, um, let's drop the pigs to about 40. Same with the cattle. Donkeys to 25. And let's set a limit of horses on 25 as well. It's going to be 50 animals just for the, for, the, for the carts. That should be enough. 40, 40 for the meat and milk. Let's get some extra sheepies and the donkey. Not as a goat. Uh, 25. That should be it. And what goes for bread? Let's go to... 
I'm going to set 100 on the bread limit. I'm going to see how that goes. Uh, meats. Hands down. My 150 of the population, maybe. Uh, fruit and veggies, maybe just 100 in storage. That should last us for absolutely forever. Milk, let's set that to 100. Because what I'm afraid of, I am petrified. No, I'm not, but it's going to spoil. And then, I mean, it's not good for nothing then, if it spoils, right? Something like so. We have 20 points. We're five away from, um, from reaching the Iron Age. But I mean, look at that, like winter is just around the corner and we still have a bunch of fields. I think I'm gonna make the right choice, like removing some of the fields, maybe even what we could do. Uh, why you die? Uh, no, no donkey! Who killed, who killed the donkey? One thing which I hate, most people don't care, okay? I do hate how straight the shape is and just bare and naked in the far end. So what would happen, maybe if you would add like a like an orchard, you might be like, Kralis, that's a stupid idea, because that's just outside the city gates. They're gonna be, they're gonna be, the side's gonna be blocked. Yeah, 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 that's, that's true. But, uh, but let's do this in the house. It's gonna look nice with some trees at least. So let's do that. And let's, but the attackers are gonna be able to hide in the trees. Yeah, 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 but it's the game. You don't have to be mad. And then flags. Like here. Man, this is gonna look really neat. Uh, yeah, I know, the gates are gonna, gonna maybe work as intended, but at least we're gonna conserve some space on the inside. Yeah, this is not too shabby. Let me just jump down here on this little hearth, and let's take a spin around this. Hi, sorry. This is not bad. I mean, it's kind of cozy. Like, it's very compact on the inside. It's, it might be too compact. Like, hands down, it is cramped. But I guess it's not too shabby. Like, what I'm hoping for is that this is gonna give the people on the on the on the farm fields an extra layer of protection. Uh, not that lady. <laughs> she died while praying. <laughs> what a cruel god, I guess. But um, let's let's try this out. Uh, okay, first things first. Let me just do animals up here and let's get the tooth to this. Sound the horn. So we do have eight uh, eight archers in the towers, and then obviously we're gonna have some people waiting just on the inside. Even though they crumble, we might we might knock off like one or two or even three of the of the raiders coming at us. I guess. Wait a minute, let me just see this. Um Okay, this guy seems to be waiting outside the gates. Does that mean those gates over here are placed correctly? You can look at this guy. This guy is standing on the inside, right? And the dogs are on the inside just waiting to, to attack. This guy. He might just be the village idiot, however. So, so let's not uh, let's not get to this assumption, maybe incorrectly, but uh, but it kind of seems like they're waiting on the outside. I've said it before. I will say this again. It is so nice just seeing the village just buzzing with life. Everybody's you know just going about doing their little like bits and pieces, chipping into the community. It is <laughs> it is so fascinating. There's so many people. The only sad thing is that. The population might be halted around this number. Because without migration, I don't think we can cope. Let me see. Baby making. Five female adults pregnant. Zakes. What if what if the workload has anything to do with that? Because now everybody's just working. What if the workload was zero? Then everybody would be super bored, and the only remaining thing would be to drink beer and make papers. Walls are being built left and right. And not that they're much more durable compared to the palisade, but this looks so much better. Like, I do love the contrast between the stone itself and the wood. Uh, that's the bear. Can somebody kill that bear? There's a young one. Uh, where is mommy? I bet your mommy's around the corner. <laughs> I don't like bears so close to my community. And by the way, did you just chip off the forest? Yes, you did. So let's start expanding the fields over here. I'm going to do one more flax, just because we can. No, just because we need flax, or linen at least. So do one more flax, and the rest remaining here, maybe do peace. Peace, 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 because that is a different sowing time and harvest time of a year. Can I do one more? Nope, we can't because there's a tree, there's a birch. Not a big birch, but I guess we need to chop them down before we can build anything. You know what I really want to do? I want to do a thing. I think it was... Is it this way? I think it is this way. Let's uh, see. The maps are quite huge. Maybe it just seems they're huge. I don't know. There it is. This is a nice looking lake. 
it would be kind of cool having like a fishing hunting outpost over here. Like it would look absolutely amazing. The only thing I'm worried about that uh, there's going to be a lot of death building it. Because uh, it is quite the distance. Let me just go up on this mountain if you can see. Yeah, so this is my village uh, over there. And there's the lake. And the distance between them is, I, I, I believe, quite, quite big. For the people, that is. Yeah, I don't know. Like They do hold a little bit of inventory, the, the, the peeps themselves, but I don't think they will be able to do that anyhow. And let's see now. So this is the first year where we have tweaked the fields and hopefully work burden is going to be a little bit smaller. One of 17%. Is everybody out harvesting, by the way? That is the question. How about stone? 66. So let's, let's not build more wall. Let's not burden the people. 120. 118. It's kind of pending between... Try to keep it below 150. So 116 is, I guess, acceptable in this case. I hope so, at least. Did you guys uh, chop those down? Uh, yes, you did, you beautiful faces. So let's do this. Let's go ahead and maybe make some Bitter Witch. I'm not sure what that is. Uh, I live in Sweden. I speak Swedish. I have no idea what Bitter Witch is. And then to continue this, let's do ourselves... Hmm, chickpeas? We already have chickpeas. No, we removed chickpeas. Uh, okay, that is not a thing. So let's do like so. Let's do maybe some chestnuts. You may be like, but why? Why do you need more nuts? Just three chestnuts over here, just to line it up correctly or nicely. <laughs> I don't know why. It's just a waste of space, I guess. But let's do the chickpeas. Chickpeas go in here, like so. And then uh, let's do ourselves do -do 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 lentils. Let's add ourselves the little, like, um, fort over here. Maybe over here. No, this would be just great. Because, I mean, there's a lot of fields. I guess people can run to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This, this legend will be absolutely perfect. And I just noticed we have 25 points, which means we could go into the... to the next age. So let's do this. And then I believe it was a gate in the middle, which would be somewhere... Uh, maybe here. And I believe there was three palisade on the sides, and three on this side. There's four. Yeah, it's gonna be four, because we're gonna be turning here. I guess the hearth is gonna be added here. And then we had, I believe it was the totem. Somewhere was it here? Here. Is that it? That is pretty much it, right? And then, this is kind of further away. And we could make ourselves production buildings, and let's make it like a two, one or two food dryers. Because we might be even hunting some, some, some creatures over here, or some animals, because there's a lot of game. Not big game, but a mouflon. How many do we have? 14. Capture those baby mouflons. Boom. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, I think those are going to be looking really, really nice. Um, don't know, however. One thing I've also been thinking about is... Uh, this might be just a suicide mission, but one thing which would be kind of cool would be to adding like a watchtowers up here on the on the sides, like here for example. You know how back in the days, or at least in the movies, they had like uh, those like warning fires. Would be kind of cool connecting it, and I mean it's not only just for the looks of it. If people would populate them and the raiders attack, they might be raining down arrows from this great distance. They won't, but let's pretend they will, okay? Unless we have one over here. One great uh, location for that would be over here. Because this is kind of like a little choke, choke point, right? So if you would add one somewhere over here and one on this side, that kind of means people, like, hopefully the raiders are going to be coming here in the middle and those will be raining down the arrows. So before they reach the, the main gates, some of them might have already died. It does not look bad whatsoever. Like, I love seeing the towers in the distance. As long as we populate them, we should be fine. Let us die, look at that over there as well. So, one thing which we do have a problem is, is pigs. Like, we do have, I believe, a cab of 40 pigs. They are reproducing like crazy. Like, I wish there was some type of birth control uh, for those guys, because now they're pooping out piglets like there was no tomorrow. And this guy. And the workload is going to be ginormous now. It is sowing season. However, we have reached a population of 178, which is not bad whatsoever. And we do have 11 more pregnant females. However, 38 males old. 38 females old. 
So, um, yeah, poop out those babies, because we're going to need them. We're going to need them for work very, very soon. Baby labor at its best. Let's uh, kill. Let's kill you as well. You inside. Hi. You die. Perfect. Well, eventually it's going to be good. And the wall is coming along. I think we only have this little stretch left. So let's start marking out this wall. Um, I should not be doing this because obviously this is going to require quite a bit of, of workforce as well. And this is something we should be doing maybe like during winter time or even summer. Because summer is kind of like the, the quiet period. But uh, you know me. Let's just queue up as much as we can and then hope for the best, I guess. And how about this? It is done! I like those! Kind of like, like an outpost in the middle of nowhere. I want to make more of those guys. Oh, donkey! No, horse! Uh, no, stop horsing around and get those! ASAP! And there's more stuff. Uh, donkeys? Uh, baby donkeys. <laughs> They're so adorable. There's so much wildlife. Like, uh, like, after the first episode, or the second episode even, I was so scared. Like, I didn't see animals nowhere on the map. And now, they're like all over the place. Is that mufflons? Oh, that's baby deer. Oh, that is delicious. But uh, but let's not. One thing which we can do, we do have 30 points, which means we could advance into the next age. And I'm not sure, should we? What will we unlock? So going to the Iron Age, obviously the radar is going to be much tougher, but we're going to unlock the Iron Mine, a bloomery, which I have no idea what that is. Uh, a blacksmith steel making bunch of iron tools and the iron ingots. The only thing is like, this is going to be completely obsolete. The, like the blowjob stations not needed anymore because they just produce uh, bronze or copper. And we're going to be making uh, iron and steel later on. 25 points, iron mine, bloomery, blacksmith and steel making. Three, two, one, and click it. And we have six points, which means we are six points away from picking another one. 30 points, holy crap. Okay, that's gonna take a while, but in six points we can either get the hydropower, which is gonna be super, super nice for us, but we have a crap ton of bread, so maybe not. However, I think this would ease quite a bit of people, just from uh, the mortars, right? Uh, reinforced fortifications. Okay, I think I'm gonna pick that first, and then go into the hydropower and even the baking. Yeah, let's go for fortification first. But um, let's see, so metallurgy uh, and iron mines. I think we had quite a few over here, just next off. Yeah, look at this, boom. Let's do maybe one, two, and uh, and three. Because uh, why not? And then, so what is this? Um, the bloomery, a place to smelt iron ore into iron and steel. It's a modern blowjob station, maybe. I don't know. Let me let me just see here. Uh, can I can I squeeze those guys in here somewhere? About okay. This tree needs to go. Chop chop this fur even. This is the first time I see a fur. I seen spruce, but no fur. So let's chop them down. I'm gonna place them just behind those. Oh, by the way, this is something we can do. Uh, this rock pile over here. Let's disallow them. Uh, Stacking up on the charcoal. Same goes for this guy. So hopefully our ch uh, all charcoal is gonna go to, go to this one, and on those ones we can maybe say, hey, get rid of that stone. No stone allowed. This is just gonna be for uh, ores and and charcoal. Um, that is the way to go, I guess. So let's do this. Let's do the the bloomery. And by the way, what does this require? Bloomery is eight mud and four. Letter. One, two, three. Go big or go home. But I guess we could just demolish those guys because they won't be needed. But let's keep them because I kind of like the looks of them, if you know what I mean. The blacksmith. And let's maybe. Okay, the main street is going to be just off here. So let's add. Bad idea. No, great idea. Boom. Two of those guys, and in the backstages, maybe just keep one space in between. Nah, this should be fine. In the backstages, let's do, let's do ourselves a warehouse because that's that's gonna be needed here. We're gonna be we're gonna be having so much production going. Maybe even two of those. Can I squeeze in? One and two. Okay, maybe not the wisest move of, from my side, but a move nevertheless. Okay, so this is a guy. I guess it, it should be some type of like a bellows. This is kind of neat looking. 
as long as we can poop out uh, iron, iron ingot from those guys, I, I will be happy, or I will be happy. And then those guys are going to be producing all the iron tools and steel tools in the future. Upskirt. Don't worry. It's just these nuts. <laughs> this is so sweet. Man, I'm so sad that we reached the, almost the in, end of the line. Because I want I want to I want to have more time periods like all the way to the modern age. Can you just imagine if this game had that? Like going into Iron Age, then I don't know what comes next. Medieval, not a bunch of crap in between there, but uh, but it was, it was so cool going all the way to the modern period. Uh, there's possibilities for DLCs, I tell you that. Can you guys hurry up and get some free straw from the fields? We have 18 gathered and uh, halfway through the fall. We need some uh, some food for the animals as well. Linen is being gathered, however, so that makes, makes me a little bit happy. Maybe linen is not a thing which you gather all the way around, uh, every single year. Maybe that kind of grows slower than, than the rest. She should, I guess this should be moving, right? She's kind of kind of kind of pulling that, and that pulls the bellow, and the bellow blows and makes that. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is those small things, those little animations, bits and pieces. Man, it makes me so happy. And we can have some more houses here in case our population grows, which I doubt it will. Twelve female pregnant? That is not enough. Poop out more babies ASAP. But we do have 13 points, which means I could go in here and I could pick wisely, Kiralz. Like the hydropower would be the wisest choice to go for, because that's going to ease their workload for people. But I'm going to go for reinfor uh, reinforced fortifications, because um, the raiders seem to be destroying those very fast. And let's check out which gate usually they come from. They usually come from this angle, right? Let's fortify... No, you know what? Let's do both of those gates. Let's start with this one, because I guess this is something we can see. So if I'm going to upgrade this gate, it's going to cost us two logs and two iron ingots. Boom, I'm going to upgrade that. And how about the towers? Can I just upgrade them straight away? Yeah, four logs, three iron ingots, and two straw. Don't really have much of that. But uh, let's uh, do so. So at this stage, those guys, they hold a durability of 400. And the gate itself, it is... Uh, okay, crap, missed that. The gate itself is 200. So we have 400 on the towers and 200 on the gates. It's going to be quite interesting to see how much uh, how much better they get. So looky, looky, no, 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 no. Toot. Oh, crap. Um, this is going to be a slaughter fest. They've got, uh, I believe that is iron steel, steel swords. A lot of them have that equipment. Okay, this is terrible. And this here, <laughs> this is just going to be wrecked. It's going to be destroyed in pieces. So eight souls, eight brave souls, I repeat, are going to die. I am Ufred, son of Ufred. Shield wall! Oh my gosh! This is this is this is great. No freaking way! Okay, toot off. You gotta be kidding me! Is that all? Okay, we, I think we lost. How many did we lose? I think we lost one or two people on this attack. But we killed like 10 raiders or even more with much better equipment than we have. Those are like forts. I would say that, that this, is, this has been um, well worth investment. And can I see what equipment they've had? Or maybe, did we steal equipment? Yes, we did. So they, they came here, they had four steel swords and one iron sword. Okay, I'm getting all excited. I just got tired. This was amazing. It's a little bit of, like, you know, I would be just standing and shooting arrows through this. Uh, but um, it is reinforced. And the, the defensive value on this is uh, durability of 300 versus 
200, right? I guess not that much better. Like, I'm hoping the tower is going to be much, much better than the, than the default ones. So what is the difference? Let's compare. This guy over here has a durability of 800. Okay, that is, that is a double amount, right? Yeah, so it's... Um, it's double the amount of durability here, and it holds three people as well. Compared to this guy, which only takes two archers. Okay, this is gonna be a complete game changer uh, in attacks. Can you just imagine having this over here upgraded with all those towers? That's gonna be what, 12 archers? And double the durability on every single tower? It's still, like, it's still gonna like crumble, but it's gonna take a lot, much longer time. And the archer's gonna do fantastic work, I guess. Man, this was neat! I'm happy we did this! What are we lacking for this? Tatch. Tatch is the answer to all our problems. Tatch. Ladies and gentlemen, that's going to conclude today's episode, I think. Like, we've got into the Iron Age. We've got some upgrades when it comes to fortification. We also got some iron production over here, which is just great. This is going to be, this is going to be a complete game changer, especially the towers and the fortifications. And we're also going to get into the hydro. Hydro, what was it called? the hydropower in the next episode and even get some baking done and hopefully reaching the steel making and making steel tools and even expanding the village more the only sad thing is i don't think we can get more population 174 and it's been it's been kind of just stuck on that let's see 10 pregnant female out of 31 a lot of old people hashtag sad